All right, y'all. Hotep, Black Power. Shout out to uh, my goddess, Brittany, Todd to Hut, all the members. You know what I mean? Y'all know who y'all are. East New York Tribe. All right, I'm doing this today because in the light of everything that happened to our brothers, our sisters, but specifically, to be specific, our brother, you know, it happened this past week, and you have a 13-year-old that was killed a week ago, okay? The reality is this. Black people are not preparing for defending themselves, but they're just preparing to march and protest. What we have to do is we have to prepare for something that can happen to us head on. Sandra Bland could not prepare to get ripped out of her car. You know, she she followed every procedure she was she knew she knew the law. She knew she didn't have to speak to the to the cop. She knew all that stuff that they was telling her to do, to telling whatever he was telling her to do. She didn't have to do that stuff. Why is it that when it comes to black people we're supposed to be submissive negroes? No, uh uh. We're not playing that shit no more. See what we're gonna have to start doing is defending ourselves. And what I mean by that is this. A cop is going to pull you out of your car because if you look in certain situations, uh, one brother was just reaching for his license, gun license to show he has a license, and he was still killed. He was still shot. His Facebook lobbed it. His girl Facebook lobbed it, and that was it. One brother was on the ground, still got shot. Hands up. He still got shot. He didn't die, but he still got shot. So you still got situations where you never know what can happen. You're in your car, and this is something for sisters as well, man. This is not just a man thing. This is a woman thing because sisters now, for the most part, they drive by themselves. And I still think that's dangerous. I still think that a man by himself is dangerous, but more specifically for a woman, because man's supposed to be that protector. You know, I was talking to a sister today. I said, you need every lioness needs a lion. You know what I mean? Every goddess needs a, her protector, her god. So men, even if you are not carrying a gun, you have to think very strategic in hand-to-hand -hand combat. What I'm learning now recently is very much hand-to-hand -hand combat. Even if it just takes knives that, that are converted to, you know... Um, Fit, you know, uh, brass knuckles. Even if it's a taser that you have easy access to. If someone's trying to grab you out of your car and you you have to be prepared for these things. If someone's trying to grab you out of your car, you can easily get to a point where that person can you can you can stabilize that person. Or you can stab that person in the arm. You're not trying to kill anybody, you're just trying to defend yourself. Bottom line, there should be no problem with a person just defending themselves. You understand? I just watched a video where, it's just recent, um, two cops had this one white man on, on the ground. And his, I'm not sure if that was his, you know, I guess that was his friends or whatnot. And they all jumped in and started beating on the cop. And the woman cop that was standing around was like, don't try it, don't try it. But she didn't have a gun. She was basically just telling us, stand back, don't do nothing. But my thing is that not one shot was fired. They got aggressive with the cops, but not one shot was fired. Not one. Just think about that for a moment. Black people, are their, their movements are being neutralized. We can't sit. We can't stand up. We can't stand up with our hands up. We can't sit down. We can't reach for nothing. We can't just be quiet. We still get shot. The brother that was shot in Tulsa by that cracker cop, that cracker woman cop. <laughs> she turned, he, he gets shot. He was putting his hands on the car. The window was up. So there was no excuse where they could say he may have been reaching for a gun. The window was up. So you can't say that no more. See, this is the thing. I'm not telling nobody to kill nobody. What I am saying is you have the right to defend yourself like any other group that's on this planet every, anywhere in the world. Black people are the only group of people who are constantly being told what they should or should not do. 
We're always told we have to be nonviolent because that's the way to control the Negro population, excuse me, the black population. We act like Negroes all the damn time. But that's ridiculous. That shit is fucking ridiculous. It's okay for everyone else. It's okay for white people to beat up cops. But you know, whoever's looking at this tape, any of y'all looking at this tape right now, I know if that was me and if that was my goddess if I was, or any of my other friends, we'd all be dead now. That wouldn't even... And even if we would have survived, people would have been like, hang them. But when it comes to their own, but when it comes to whites, they get they get a chance to get off. They probably got arrested, of course. But did they die? No. Another video where a white man was clearly saying, I'm armed. He was pointing the gun at the cops. He didn't die. But you got situations where black people unarmed are being killed by cops. See, I'm done explaining and I'm done arguing. I don't, I don't, I don't argue with crackers. I don't argue with nobody. You want to come to me with that argument, get, out, get the hell out of my face before I hurt you. Bottom line, I don't care what race you are. Everyone has a right, an innate human ability to defend themselves. They have the right to do so. That is human. But when it comes to black people, they run the Dr. King bullshit on us. Don't let nobody treat, don't let nobody come at you with that game. That's bullshit. So again, I'm, this is just a, this is a, a video dated, oh, I want to date them. I should have, I should have done videos over a month ago, but you know, busy and I'm preparing for a lecture. Just want to, uh, shout out some brothers, um, at Sacred Roots in, um, South Carolina, I'll be doing a lecture there at All, uh, it's all Eyes on Egypt as well, but this is uh, Chet Was and uh, I'm going to in Habhar in um, South Carolina. So I'll be doing a lecture there in the, the weekend of the 8th and the 9th and I, of October. But um, I just wanted to do this to really, let's, let's be real, be able to protect yourself. Didn't say kill nobody, but she'd be able to stabilize the person trying to take you off the planet. Bottom line. So again, black power and hotel family.